Do you like randomness? Do you like heroes? Then this is a game I think you're going to enjoy. Presented by Armor Games. And Wobblyware. Random Heroes. A game about random heroes. A dark cemetery just outside the city. Two evil kings with their nightly werewolf impression. Contest. Main routine tipping over tombstones. But this time we tipped over the world stone. Portal to another world appears. And the invasion begins. And zombies with iron faceplates are here. A hero is needed now more than ever. Let's jump right into it. Who are we going to be? Are we going to be the bandit? No. Are we going to be the guys we can't be yet? No. Are we going to be the trucker hillbilly? No. We're going to be the dapper gentleman. Let's go. Chapter 1, downtown. Alright. I have to click to continue. Huzzah. I love it when I have to use a mouse randomly in a game that I use my keyboard for. Actually, I'm using my gamepad thing. Collect coins and kill enemies to get money. That's how I get money in the real world. Press U or click the dollar sign up right corner to open the shop screen. And we can't really buy much of anything. In fact, when I was sampling this game, I got $900 without remembering I was supposed to be buying things with those dollars. So we're going to try to buy things this time, because buying things is helpful. That's not just me being a consumer whore, that actually is kind of a major part of the game. It's got upgrades and that sort of stuff. Yes, you open doors. Achievement unlocked, door opening. This game has the best achievements. Platform, suddenly. Random steampunky platforms. I like the little touches like the water. It's not amazing looking water, but it's nice. And when you kill enemies, they don't drop coins, you just get money. Kill enemies, get money. And if you pick up a health kit and you have full health, you consume it anyway, so... If you think you might need a health kit, but you don't need it now, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. That health kit didn't do anything to you, just, just go on with your life. It's not worth it. Yeah, eventually, we do start seeing new enemies. Enemies that actually fight back. And like these guys are just kind of like, here, bomb walking around. Oh, we got an achievement unlocked. Face breaky kind of guy. Ah! See? Now they start to shoot back. Oh, some of them. Still not very tricky. And yes, the drippy slime from the ceiling will hurt you. I was never the biggest fan of the drippy stuff that hurts you somehow, but at least it's like slime or acid or something. It's not like those games where, you know, water is dripping from the ceiling and your character is like, Oh my god, I got water in my hair! Oh my god, it hurts so much! But uh, we do have a top hat, so let's try not to get acid on our top hat. That would be a travesty. Kinda of surprised I made that lift. Ah! These are one of the more annoying enemies. Um, uh oh. A good thing to do is to stop jumping like a moron and let it fly at you in a straight path so you can shoot it. Alternately, you can get a better gun, which is really ideal, but oh well. We are gonna save up for a particular gun I like. Though, first things first, let's go to the menu. Let's get one of those money giddy books. Let's get that one. I'm not sure if these stack. I kind of assume they don't. But I don't know. Anyway, I can't buy anything else, so let's just ignore that. I'm waiting for the rocket launcher, because it kills almost everything in these first areas in two hits, so... And, uh, you know, by waiting, you save a little bit of money. You don't really need the better weapons in these first few areas. Really, you could beat the whole first world without getting a weapon upgrade, but it'd be less fun. And you really don't need many of the other upgrades in the first world anyway, so you may as well get a gun. 
There's also these armor upgrades, but you don't need them quite yet. Now, armor just increases your health by one, and these increase your the health you get from medkits, and this one increases your damage done by all weapons. So that's good, but kind of expensive. You want to actually have good guns before you get that, because it costs as much as... Um, it's about as much as the rocket launcher, which is... You know, 70% of the way there to the best gun. It's not the best, ow. These guys I do not like. They're pretty hard to kill with this gun, but they're pretty avoidable. Just don't stand still like a moron. Pro tip, yeah, you probably won't die. Standing still like a moron is a great way to die, though. Oh, there are two people on one platform now. Game's getting tricky. Ah, those guys. Those guys are annoying. But yeah, just keep calm and stay on a long, you know, platform like this and let them come to you. And you can kill them pretty easy. Because they don't fire or anything. And these dudes do not fire at you if they are not looking at you. They're pretty stupid. And this platform is really slow. Unfortunately, I can jump, like, frickin' 20 feet in the air. But you can always jump feet 20 feet in the air. Can't you guys? Ha! Ah, these guys. These guys are fast and stupid, and they just kind of run around, and they try to drill in your face with a drill. So, I do not recommend touching them. Oh, he got stuck on them. Come on. Okay, there we go. Ha! Also, I haven't been watching for how much money the enemies give you. I kind of assume that the tougher enemies give you more money, but I don't know which one's worth more. So, I just kill everything, I mean, in general, but uh, in this game, too, that's also a good idea. Oh crap, we got to the boss. Um, I can't get my good gun. Ah! Right, he shoots his whoop. This guy's not a tough boss, though, so... Really, a better weapon isn't needed here either, it just makes it go faster. Because this really is all he does, so you really don't need a better weapon. So if you out. Unless you're really stupid. But, um... If you want to get the most money quickest, and, you know, get your upgrades quick, you want to buy the money uppy thingies first, not guns. Because as you can see, even if you stand around like a moron and let this guy shoot you, He's still pretty freaking easy. Achievement unlocked. Money getting. The Sewers, Chapter 2. Let's actually get an okay gun. Well, let's get that flamethrower. You know what? I want that flamethrower. We're just gonna wait. I don't like that I have to use the mouse for the freaking shop screen. I'm using my gamepad otherwise. And after we kill this guy, we can now get our flamethrower. Bye. We got achievement gun get, and this one has a short range, so it's not always ideal, but it kills stuff really nice. So and it's fun. The rocket launcher is pretty much the exact same as the regular gun, except it's a lot more powerful. So slow rate of fire basically infinite range. You know, it shoots as far as the screen, unlike the flamethrower. But the flamethrower is fun, so I recommend it. And there aren't that many situations where you really do need the longer reach. At least I haven't encountered them yet. Plus, it's a freaking flamethrower. You can't go wrong. Honestly. Rocket launchers are so overdone anyway. I guess maybe flamethrowers are too, but flamethrowers are more fun than that. Ah! Tin Man! Oh, you're gonna do the whole Mega Man I have to look away from you thing or something? Yes, you are. You're a jerk. Fortunately, you're easy to fake out with the flamethrower. But you still take a lot of hits. Jeez. Though maybe that's because with the flamethrower you need to do constant damage, so 
Maybe he's faster to kill with the flamethrower, or the rocket launcher. Stupid slime. Would you wake up and be a slime monster, please, so I can kill you? Maybe that's not a slime monster. Oh. Yes, it is. Never mind. It's a door. Let's go up that thing. Examine what things it has for us. Oh, never mind. We can't. Oopsie daisy. I really love the use of parallax scrolling here. It gives a very deep feel to a uh, fairly simple level design, but it looks really nice. Though the general look hasn't changed that much from World 1. The sewers look fairly similar. Ah, oh, it's a giant skull! What do you know? Skulls are worth money. That must be rich. Oops. Spikes. Do not touch spikes! Spikes hurt. I suppose we should probably get an armor thingy at some point. Oh, I guess things these things must stack. So let's get that other book. At least I assume they stack. And let's get... Actually... I want that pulse laser. We're gonna get one more unit of health, though. And it gives you an achievement! Hooray! Come on! Yeah! Ow. Money! And yes, the gold coins are worth more than the silver coins, and uh, the skull coins are worth a hundred bucks, so... Definitely always pick those up. Acid still hurts. I love my completely expressionless face. This guy's just like, this is just everyday stuff for him. He's just like, yeah. Killing a few thousand enemies. I don't, I don't even care. They're getting in my way. All I'm doing is going to the store, get some freaking fish and chips or something. I don't know. What do dapper people eat? He's not- he doesn't look French, so I- I would say wine and such, but he doesn't seem to be French, he's just- He's Abraham Lincoln. What did every Abraham Lincoln eat? That's what I want to know. Frickin' Matar. Jerk face. Why are those guys called Matars, anyway? The non-Mega Man fans have no idea what they're talking about. That's the name of those little helmet guys, ow, oh god. In Mega Man. At least I'm pretty sure. I don't know why. It may be because it sounds like metal, because it's supposed to, in Japanese it's rock man, because it's like rock and roll out. Crap. At least it instantly respawns you. The game's not super hard, but I always appreciate quick respawn instead of You died! Unnecessary game over screen! Do you want to continue or do you want to rage quit because this game is so annoying? And we're going to stress the fact that it's annoying by giving you stupid, unnecessary game over screens. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. In case you couldn't tell. It's like, hmm, the player is probably frustrated because he just died. Maybe we should throw a mobile window at him where he has to click extra things. That's a good idea! Are you sure you wish to keep playing this game? Are you really sure? so sure that you that your life you want to continue playing this game because if you're not you don't get to play it you just get to look at this game over screen that's enough ranting about game over screens so let's kill things and i like the, the little floating head things they're just like they're just severed heads of the other enemies as you can see they're like you know they're sort of bloody around where their neck would be and their like teeth are just kind of hanging there it's a neat touch, ow. Oh wow, I have money suddenly. How much was that pulse thing? I probably can't buy it yet. Oh. I can buy it. Excellent. Oh, that sound won't get old. Oh well, this thing is awesome. Interestingly, the rocket launcher is the strongest weapon in the game, so, uh, strongest per shot. 
so it's still pretty good. Let's see what's on this thing. So it's a pretty good early, relatively early purchase. Because there are some times where it could be better than this if you can't get a sustained fire on an enemy. And I'm not falling for this crap again. I'm going to kill you before I go up there. Jerk face. The rocket launcher is pretty good at killing those guys, for example. You only have to hit them twice instead of, you know, four or five times or however long it took me to kill that one. What? Uh, ah. No. Okay. What else can I even buy? Let's see, we got the best gun. I guess that would be okay. Actually, I kind of want that damage up thing. So let's see how badly I die in the following levels. And since it shouldn't be a problem, I think I'm just going to get that damage up thingy. Damage is good, especially since there's a boss coming up. And these platforms could be just a teeny bit faster. Either that or make their paths actually just a bit shorter on some of these. Because I have to wait a long time. Crap, there's probably something down here, isn't there? Ow. There's a bullet in my ass, that's what's down here. That's not my favorite thing to explore. Whoa! Okay. Just another elevator, but I want to see what's over here. It's a small amount of money. Actually, it's not really that small, because I can now finally get you, my precious. Excellent. So I have almost no health, relatively speaking. But I can kill things, so that's all that really matters. Isn't that a right stupid skull head that I hate? Yes, it is. Ah! That extra damage definitely helps for you jerks. I know I'm missing a big part of the level because I missed that thing, but... No, this must be the right way. The right way is always to the right. Which is... I don't... Is that like the opposite of ironic? I don't... I don't know what that would be. It's an amusing coincidence, that's what it is. MONEY! Achievement unlocked. You got money! Yay! You got goggles! We're, we're full on steampunk now, we got goggles. They're invisible goggles, which is even more steampunk. Actually, I don't know, I've never seen too much invisible stuff in steampunk stuff. Though there was, uh. None. I was gonna say leave Extraordinary Gentleman, but I'm thinking of the anti-gravity thing. I don't know why I would confuse anti-gravity with invisible. Maybe because of the invisible man, I have no idea. This gun is awesome. Oh right, I suppose I should buy things. Let's get... Let's get you. Really, no, no other upgrades I can particularly get right now. Just health and health upness, I guess. You are a butt face. Do you know that? Come on. Frickin' Metars only took one hit to kill. You're like 18 billion hits. Or like three, but still. It's more than one. By a lot. I don't approve of that. I don't approve of big numbers. And three is a big number. It's like, holy freaking crap. Can I jump down? Oh, I can't. Achievement unlocked. Face. Broken killiness. I don't know what the achievements are actually named, so I just make them up. I'm sure there's an achievement screen. I don't... You have to access it from the main menu, though. You can't get to it from here. You can't get there from here. Boss time. Oh, one more level. I think. I've lost track of what level I'm on. That's always a good start. Money! 
I think I could buy more stuff. Oh, right. These definitely stack, then. And I'm a moron for buying the more expensive one first, because I didn't read the description. But oh well. This is why reading things help, but oh well. It'd be nice if it said it's stacked, you know, just at the end of the description here says um, stacks with economics level 1, but whatever. It's not like a life-altering decision either. And you pretty quickly run out of stuff to upgrade, so it's cool. No, I'm not, I'm not letting you go. Crap. I am letting that elevator go, because I'm not waiting for it again. I am not a patient man. As you can probably tell by me jumping in the spikes. If they didn't want me to jump in the spikes, I shouldn't have made the platform so slow. Crap. So if I miss the platform, I'm just like, no, I'm going to the next one. I don't care if I miss like 18 billion dollars worth of money. I don't really need 18 billion dollars worth of money right now. End of level. Aha! I knew there was another boss. Very soon. Ah! You're frickin'. You're also a Metar. You're a frickin' boss Metar. Didn't they have a boss Metar in one of them? Oh, you're not very tough. Oh, and you, if you didn't notice, you walk slower in the water. Ha ha! Keep it unlocked, turtle stew. Or soup. The cemetery. Suddenly, men, men, minotaurs with differently colored arms. Maybe they're like Frankenstein's monster minotaurs. They're Frankenstein's minotaurs. That Dr. Frankenstein sure has an odd sense of fashion. I'm not jumping down there because I don't need that money. I really don't. I do need that though. Achievement unlocked. Buying lots of things. Stupid elevator. Go faster. Oops. Stupid pause button. Stop being pressed. I don't know why I jumped. I could have killed him. I do not know why I jumped. Oh, whoa! Brain bots. It's always the brain bots, isn't it? We're gonna call it a video at the end of this. Oh god, bomb. At the end of this level. So I have no idea how long this video is for. Let's see what's up here. One thing I have to say is you run out of upgrades really early and there's not much there's not much reason to explore because all, mostly all you get out of exploring is more money, and I have really no need for money. Even right now, I'm doing just fine. I'll get enough money to upgrade everything before I even end this world, and even if I don't go after the extra stuff. So, whoa, that was lucky. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice if there was some more stuff to, more reason to explore, Add little achievement things or add more stuff to buy. Can I buy? No. I can buy useless guns. I'll buy the useless guns last, though. Just to try them all out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Next video will be up whenever.